In this video, I'll show you how to change background colors and how to add a spotlight. So I only have one background, which is white. It is a six by nine vinyl background that I got from Cowboy Studios. I can get my white background to go uh, gray uh, by using the uh, inverse square law. If you know, if you don't know how to use the inverse square law, please Google it. Uh, you know, sometimes I wish I had money to buy every piece of a photography photography equipment. But the thing is that I don't have any money, so I have to come out with ways uh, to make my photographs uh, look the way I want them to look. So I'm going to walk you through uh, my lighting setup. This is an Alien BB800, uh, and it, my light modifier was a uh, 22 Beauty Dish. This is by far, I mean, in my opinion, the best light modifier that you can use. It produces a beautiful light. Once you learn, one, once you master this um, light modifier, this is the only one that you're going to be using. I use a, a 28 to 75 Tamron f2.8. That was my lens. Uh, my shutter speed was 200th of a second. Uh, the camera was uh, set to the sync speed, uh, which is 200th of a second. That's the max. That's the fastest shutter speed that you can use with your uh, with the studio stroll. My aperture was f/a. I usually shoot uh, uh, at f/a f/9, you know, and I just adjust my LMB uh, to that uh, to that aperture. I don't use a light meter. I use the back of my camera and the Instagram. So, you know, I don't really use any light meter or anything like that. So now we're going to be working on this particular image. Uh, the background was white and I wanted to get like a blue color. But like I said, you know, I didn't have money to buy any other color. The only thing that I could afford was a white background, which is the only background that you pretty much need. Okay, so the first thing that we're going to do, we are going to desaturate this image a little bit. We're gonna do some skin tone. We're gonna set this to 30%. We are going to add contrast to the image. We go to monochrome, and we're gonna change the blend mode to soft light. We're gonna change the opacity to 30%. So you can see the uh, before and after. Okay. The next thing that we are going to do, we are going to select the uh, quick selection tool by pressing W. That's the uh, uh, shortcut for the quick selection tool. Okay, you you also can come over here and select the uh, quick selection tool. Now we're gonna do a selection. We're going to select. We're gonna do a selection, and this is the thing that you really have to do well because if you don't uh, do a good selection, then the uh, the uh, the background is not gonna look realistic. So we. Uh, we selected uh, Jerome, which is our subject right now. The next thing that we're going to do, we're going to go to uh, select, modify. We're going to expand this selection by two pixels. Uh, two pixels is good. Okay, now we're going to go to selection. We're going to inverse this selection. So right now, uh, Jerome is not selected, but the background is. As you can see right here, the background is selected. Now we're going to go to our... Uh, background which is a blue background if you don't know how to make this uh, let me show you how to do it a little quick so in order for you to create a background all you have to do is create a new layer we do that by pressing Control shift n we're gonna name this layer background okay now you go to the uh, paint bucket tool okay paint bucket tool and now you're gonna go down here and you're gonna select the color that you want let's say that we want a uh, light green color okay so we're gonna select okay now you are going to uh, right click on the background so this color is going to be reflected right here so that's our background so now but we don't need this background because the background that I'm going to be using is the blue one okay so I need a blue background so now I'm going to do control a to select Control C to copy, and then I'm gonna come down here and go to Edit, Paste Special, and now I'm gonna paste into. And now uh, I just pasted the background. The next thing that we're gonna do, I'm going to press B for brush. I'm going to be working with a soft brush, a zero hardness brush, and I'm just going to uh, click on Jerome's face. 
I'm going. I want to. I want my spotlight to be right here, and that's exactly uh, okay. Hold on. We gotta change the foreground color to white, and that's my spotlight. Okay, that's the before and after. So as you can see, the spotlight is above Jerome. So is uh, right behind the background. If it is above, it means that it's behind it. So that's pretty much all you have to do. All right, that was pretty easy, right? Okay, the next thing that we're gonna do, we're gonna add some sharpening to this image. So we're gonna press Control J. We're gonna go to Filter, Other, High Pass, and we're gonna set our radius at about uh, let's see, seven percent. Yeah, yeah, seven percent. Now we're gonna change the blend mode to soft white. It gives the image a little punch, as you can see. That's the before, that's the after. But the skin, you don't supposed to do this on skin, so we're gonna create a mask. We're gonna select a brush, and we're gonna be working with a black brush because we want to hide the effect. So now we're gonna start painting on his forehead, we're gonna on his nose, cheek, because the only thing that we want to sharpen are her eyes, eyebrows, and hair, and the jacket. Okay. All right. There we go. Maybe on the ear. All right. And the lips too. I'm gonna get closer to his lips. Okay. We're gonna soften that. All right. We don't want the effect to affect this part. Okay. Now let me show you the uh, before and after. It adds a little punch. That's the before. That's the after. That's the before, and that's the after. Okay. I think that's all I got for you today, guys. Don't forget to check. Uh, Facebook.com slash to eye photography and Flickr.com to us uh, to slash to eye photography. Please like, comment, and share. And uh, and that's all I got. Thanks for watching.